a little okay smooth speaking it is now 10 past 2 in the morning I was in bed preparing you know, to sleep but um, I didn't manage to because my guides and my spiritual world you know my friends was telling me to do a video okay as a light worker i have to obey <laughs> actually it's my pleasure to obey even it's late in the morning but because the situation is overwhelmed because you are facing a very stranger moment uh, and because I am a, a messenger I said okay I'm gonna stand I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna do a video well what they are trying to tell me is sometimes you, we receive information from the spiritual world like you have been receiving information from two years now that things would change in the planet lots of messages not just me receiving messages but a lot of people receiving same messages of disturbances of uh, changes yeah but our problem is when you listen to these messages we you have our own ideas of what's going to happen so when the spiritual guides and the angels or whatever name you should give them you can give any name to them the spiritual guides or angels or the holy spirit or you know the saints when they give message to us we tend to translate that messages based on our day-to-day -day experiences or the experience of the past so based on our own experiences and things that happens in the planet before when they gave the messages to us about the change that you are causing in the planet that uh, you are coming to a different phase that uh, things is gonna change that you know the event will come <laughs> the event <laughs> So we translated that message like thinking, okay, the tsunami is going to come or you're going to have a lot of hurricanes or you're going to have volcanoes or, you know, earthquakes. And that's what you thought you're going to happen. And I personally have a very, very um, interesting experience this year. I have a daughter, Anna, she lives in Cyprus, and when she came from uh, Christmas time this year, she said her and her husband was planning to buy a house in Cyprus. But my kids, all my kids have this habit of uh, whenever they want to do something major, like, you know, buying a house or changing jobs or, you know, get into a relationship, whatever, they came to me for advice. So Anna did, as always, ask me if I asked my guides if it was the time, the right time to buy a house and what house or a place, etc. 
So I said, okay, I'm going to ask. Because it's a major thing to buy a house for life. So I asked my guide. And when I asked the guide, and I received the instructions of saying no, this year is not going to be a proper year for buying a house. And then I asked myself, why? I didn't told them before I asked why. What's the reason why they don't? Because buying a house is something so trivial. Why not? If they have the money, etc. why not? Well, they said it's not a time. Something is going to happen. And uh, as we have our own ideas of what should happen, when I told my daughter that the guy said, no, it's not a time to buy a house, she was very, you know, she was not very happy and he was not very happy also. And then uh, I said, oh, they said that something is going to happen and it's not going to be possible to buy the house this year. And I said, oh, it's, you should wait. And then they said, oh, probably it's because, because Cyprus has this, you know, no end trouble with Turkey. You know that. Turkey and Cyprus have a, Turkey invaded Cyprus, etc. So they thought, okay, probably you're going to have another problem with uh, Turkey. Turkey is going to try to uh, invade it again or whoever, because Turkey is always give trouble to Cyprus. And they, they were having some arthritis or some, you know, provocation from Turkey towards Cyprus last year, the year before, uh, especially because of, uh, you know, petrol and things like this. So they thought, okay, probably something like this. You're going to have some troubles with, with Turkey. And, uh, and if there is any problem, you, you have to come to England. And probably, you know, the house is going to be invaded, however, they are going to, you know, lose the money, etc. And say, okay, let's wait and see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Can be Cyprus, can be all this stuff, can be another problem, can be tsunamis, or whoever. But you see, you always think about physical stuff like, you know, to the if. We, we never, ever, I don't think any spiritual people thought about this, what's happened in the if now. So when they talk about the event and think that it's going to happen, changes that's going to happen, happen, and, uh, you know, the financial market will, will crumble and, and crash and, and the money is going to be, you know, replaced for something else, we never, never imagine what's going to happen. So now, something invisible happens not in one place or another, like, a, you know, one of the prophecies was that France would, you know, have a big things happen there and then it will be an, an, a very long night, etc. And another prophecy that came last year, especially from Brazil, was that um, the spiritual guides and the spiritual world were preparing to receive a lot of uh, diseased souls. So again, everyone was thinking about tsunamis that kills thousands, like in Japan, that, uh, that year in, I think it was 2010 or 2011 when they have that big tsunami there and killed about 10,000 people. So people are thinking, okay, it's going to be another tsunami that's going to, you know, kill a lot of uh, people at, at once. And so the spiritual world is preparing to receive that souls because they said that we are preparing spiritual hospitals to receive the soul that will be diseased. So again, we, in, you know, Okay, <laughs> we always do it. 
we have this tendency of uh, you know based things in the past experiences you never think about something different like what's happened today when my daughter went back to cyprus she went 13 of january okay about five days after i wake up in the morning feeling very 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 bad not physically i was let's explain how i was feeling do you know that the horses feels when the battle is coming when the war is coming the horses are the first ones to feel something of course when they use horses in the past for the war now we don't use horses for the war anymore but on those days they said that the horses would feel something would come so they will start to get like you know um agitated that's what i meant my i, I was feeling that morning when i was you know agitated my soul was not in peace i was feeling like the horses that some battle would come even i sent a message to my friend in brazil he's a spiritual teacher and i sent a message to him in the morning before my breakfast even i said i don't know um this morning i wake up in the morning feeling battle i'm like a horse this morning i'm feeling i'm i am agitated inside it's like you know that feeling of something and i said i can't put my finger on it but i know something is gonna happen but again i thought it would be something like a tsunami i thought it's gonna be something like you know an earthquake that will destroy some places and then you'll be suffering uh, you know and need of helping people etc and then a lot of people will die but never 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 in my heart i will think about a invisible enemy so now 19 of march i'm doing this video to tell you that the earth is going through a trial we are in a planet of trials so it's a big trial this time things gonna change from now on the market is crumbling everything seems out of place when in earth you told that you have to be indoors not allowed to go out frontiers would be closed airplanes would not be allowed to land our hospitals will be full of sick people no one no one would predict something like this but that what is happening it's not one or one place here or there it's not something far away no now it's happening every single place in this planet every country every country in this planet today is facing the same enemy
and this an invisible one very small you can't even see with our eye you can't even avoid it because you can't see it you don't know when they are coming or how they are coming what it is something that never no one predicted would happen so what should you do I'm going to tell you nothing. Apart from take care of ourselves, close ourselves to ourselves, get inside and try to dig from inside strength to overcome everything. Now it's time to put in practice what Kryon is telling us from the last 10 years that we can heal ourselves. We can talk to our DNA. You can talk to our cells. You can talk to our inner self or our innate and tell our innate to heal ourselves, to protect ourselves, to boost our immune system, to face this enemy. This is attacks without our even know from where they are coming. So my dears, my dear souls, my dear star seeds we came from the stars our body is made from stars dust we have been here thousand millions of years we have been facing challenges that our dna knows our soul knows how many battles we have been facing from these millions of years. It's not our first battle. You have been facing thousands of them. So now it's time for us to remember from where the strength will come from. If you are a star seed, we will know where to dig your strength to fight this enemy it's not from outside it's from inside okay we have to take precautions and obey what they are saying to us take our vitamin c take our vitamin d our zinc okay have a good um diet you know avoid everything that can harm our immune system, okay, our body. That is natural stuff. If you love yourself, if you love your vessel, that is your body, then you're going to do it anyway. You are going to eat properly. You are going to have a good food. You are going to avoid eating meat, <laughs> yeah have your hygiene every single day you wash your hands you don't touch your face most of the time don't go out etc let's do what they are saying us to do but nothing compares to deep inside yourself and dig from inside you the strength for this moment and remember something there is a saying in the Bible, the happiness, the happiness is a waste Okay? And they said that the happiness is the, the happiness on the, of God or, or whatever, you know, spiritual being you follow is a waste 
So be happy. Be happy with yourself. Be happy and, and sing. And, you know, let's go through this moment with a good music, a singing. And if you pray, play drums, play your drums, play your, play your singing bowls or, you know, your piano, your organ, your, your guitar, or whatever, your, you know, your flute. You know, do something in this moment. Take the advantage of being close inside your house and do something proactive. Okay? Let's bless the air. I have been drumming and tomorrow I'm planning to do a singing bowl section and I'm going to tape. Okay? This is something that's coming to my heart for about three or four days. I haven't been having time yet to do it, but I'm planning to do it tomorrow singing to some you know spiritual beings um and let's be happy let's be happy even in this moment in time that things you know sound so gray <laughs> but gray moments are very special because it's when you you have the time to know yourself better what is your priority is the planet self is selfishness it's your brothers your sisters the planet you know because the planet is everything is the earth is the stones is the trees is the animals is the humans is the air that you breathe is the water that you drink you know, everything is alive. Everything is alive. And every every single element in the earth is our friends. Okay? So let's bless everything. Let's bless the air. Let's bless the water. Let's bless the earth, the trees, the animals. And... Uh, Let's be happy and sing because the, the happiness is our strength. It's what makes us survive all the battles we have had before. And it's going to be the one to survive us now. It's going to help us to survive this time. There is something in the in the in scriptures that is very interesting. They said that the stars sings. And yes, true. The sun has a beautiful noise, the om. And all the stars sings. And they said one of the 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 passages of Job, the, that guy from, you know, thousands of years ago. And uh, when he was having a conversation with God, that's one of the questions God asked him. Where we were when the stars were singing to me. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? And he said, Job. Where you were when the stars were singing to me. You were not there yet. Because to have us as this body, the stars had to die. So let's sing with the stars now. Because the stars are still singing to the Creator. So we also should sing to the Creator and unite our singing to the singing of the stars. Birds does it every single day. Why should we don't? So let's sing. Let's sing. 
in the time of the storms. Yes, it's a big storm, but you can sing and unite our singing to the sound of the storm. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay, I hope now the guys allowed me to sleep. <laughs> it's now 2.35 the morning. And I think now I can sleep. God bless you. Keep you safe. Look for yourself. Sing. Play. And go deeper into your soul and discover who you really are because that is the moment for us to discover who we really are you me we are daughters and sons of the stars god bless you keep you safe and me also bye bye